this question gives us a good example of how in many geometry questions on the GMAT, there's only one really important concept that you have to know. And once you get that concept, the rest of the question becomes much easier. So what we need to do here is just figure out what that concept is at the very beginning, and then we'll work from there. So let's get started. A thin piece of wire 40 meters long is cut into two pieces. One piece is used to form a circle with radius r, and the other is used to form a square. No wire is left over. Which of the following represents the total area in square meters of the circular and the square regions in terms of r? First things first, let's just figure out what we're looking for. So the total area of the circular and the square regions. We know the radius is r, so the circular region just has to be pi r squared. That's simple. Now the question is what remains? That's going to be total minus the circumference of the circle. So why would that be the circumference? Well, remember that it's the total amount and then we would have to lay the circle out end to end basically. It's the length of the circle if it were laid flat. So that is going to be the total 40 and the circumference of the circle, remember it's radius r, is just two pi r. We're looking for the area of the square, so what we need to do is find the side of the square. Well, this remaining bit is gonna be it's the entire outside of the square, so that's the perimeter of the square. And then that's 40 minus 2 pi r as we've seen. But then if we divide the perimeter by 4, because a square has four sides, then that's going to give us the side of the square. So that gives us 10 minus 1 half pi r. And of course, if we want the area of the square region, that's just going to be the side of the square squared to get the area square. So that's going to be this part, 10 minus 1 half pi r, just that quantity squared. So the circle area is pi r squared. The square area is quantity 10 minus 1 half pi r squared. So our answer, of course, is E for the total area of both the circle and the square. If you like this video, you found it useful, the best way to support the channel is to click the like button or subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're interested, we are offering a free 52 page GMAT rates guide for free if you click the link in the top right hand corner. It's got just about every kind of rates question you could possibly imagine. And of course, it's free. So why not? Click the link in the top right hand corner and we'll get that rates guide to you right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.